So this is our highly potent crab attractant for blue crabs and all other crab species. Got it out of the Bass Pro Shop a couple years back. So it should be marinated and really, really stinky for the blue crabs. This stuff actually says that you can use it, just take a rag and soak it in it for a period of time and even catch crabs with no bait, just a rag. We may have to try that with you guys later. I went ahead and I baited our crab pot. And always remember guys, that blue crab are actually color blind. So it really doesn't even matter that this has that blue color to it. I think the blue, is just to attract us as buyers. It's blue. <laughs> it has definitely given those leg quarters that blue color, I'm telling you. In a couple of our other videos well, back, we was crabbing back in some marsh creeks and you know, we were kind of disappointed in the amount of crabs that we were seeing back in those creeks. We just wanted to bring you out to some deeper areas or bigger rivers to see what we can catch with this bait. We are using the yellow crab pot buoys on our crab traps, which are required here in South Carolina with our names and addresses already on them. That's something important that you guys need to do if you ever plan on going out crabbing with crab traps in South Carolina. And you must have a recreational fishing license. And for Steph and I, the two of us, we can have two traps each. Let's go get them, Steph. How you think that bait's gonna work, Steph? I'm not really sure. I mean, we know crab love chicken, so do they like blue chicken? A lot of guys out here, no matter where they're from, in the comments, they're telling me that chicken actually works better for crabbing than fish. That's why we went by the store and got that chicken with you guys. And for five dollars and thirty something cents, you know, you can't beat it. And then the blue crab fuel. We let it soak on that chicken for a while and what was left over in the bucket, I actually just took a funnel and dumped it right back in and now I'm back up to nine tenths of that bottle. What wasn't but less than $10 back two years ago. And it is uh, almost low tide here, guys. The tide is actually going out. We're about two hours from low tide. Against the law that if you are placing your crab traps out and leaving them that they're not exposed or out of the water on low tide the crabs could die in the traps sitting up on the bank especially in the heat of the day i'm seeing that the crabbers commercial guys are crabbing this side of the bank over here so we're going to go back here so our goal is to try to find these crabs with you guys you ready steph we're gonna go right off the right side. Got plenty of rope guys on our pot. So when the tide comes in, our crab traps don't get drug around. Our tides here in South Carolina can fluctuate from six to 10 foot. I couldn't see the top of that trap at all. So I know there's gonna be water on that trap on the low tide. try one right here i think this water right here guys is probably right now at least six to eight foot this one all right that's good right there stuff we're running awfully awfully low on fuel guys we're down on the empty side so we ain't gonna go too far see some of our neighbors back over here pulling the crab traps on the community dock now. And 
and it seems like there's not that many crab pots over in this area. I definitely don't want to intrude on the commercial crab. Whenever you get ready, Steph. This is the type of dude I am. You see all this here? Zip ties. That's how I fix my crab traps. It just is what it is. That's right. Thankful for Oliver, he can fix about anything. Well, I try my best, guys. You know, it's like the jack of all trades, master of none. It's bad not being the master of any trade, but I've heard it's always good to be a jack of all. It's gorgeous out here today. We're not putting our traps uh, close to any docks or anything because you need to always, you know, give dock spaces uh, a certain amount of room for their own crabbing area. Uh, I think it's like 50 foot here in South Carolina. I could be wrong. Like I always tell you guys in these videos, don't ever take my word for things. Check the rules and the regulations for everything that you want to do out on the waters of South Carolina or any other area for yourself. You are responsible. I get Stephanie to check mine. <laughs> so if I'm in the wrong guys, she led me to be there. So I'm liking this spot right here. Right now in this spot right here is probably about three or four foot. And we're just going to drop this last one right here with you guys. Our pots are set out. And we're coming right back on with you guys to check them. I brought you guys back on because if you can hear, it's, it's raining here now and the little boat. The little skiff is parked down at the community dock where we left it. So this is creeping up on us. It's been creeping up on us for a little while. And we're at this point here right now. We got some heavy rain and uh, some lightning and thunder going by. And we're just worried about that little skiff, you know, getting too much water in it and getting in the engine. I guess we'll just have to see what that little boat looks like when we get back down there to pull those crab pots for you guys tomorrow. Well, ain't nothing we can do about it. It's late night snack time. So it's turned out to be a beautiful day to come out here and pull these uh, full crab pots with you guys. And the storm last night wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be. We only have a little small amount of water in the boat. And I did remember to come along with some gas to refuel this boat up while we're out here. And when we pull these crab pots, guys, we're going to pull them in the same order that we put them out. Pretty out here today. It's beautiful. Well, that right there should do us. We got another gallon and a half of fuel so we should be good one thing great about this little skiff or the little skiffs that's designed like this right here is this is actually a double floor under this floor right here is another layer underneath it and it's foam filled so they really hold up good even if water does get in and we have some drain plugs back here in the back and as we get moving forward, I'm just going to pull one of these drain plugs and the water will just flow right out the back of the boat. But you have to be in motion and uh, at a constant speed to get that to happen correctly. And that water, it'll slowly go out. The tide is coming in right now. We got to pull these pods with you guys. I'm just making, trying to continue this video. We got some issues going on that we got to deal with. Send us a little prayer if you don't mind. Family always comes first. Always remember that.
just like we told you earlier in the video always make sure you're using a yellow crab pot buoy with your name and address on it oh yeah look at here nice oh man nice nice this is where the crabs are they're out in the deeper water that's some big males in, in there nice it's that nice blue hole. chicken did a good job oh yeah and guess what that chicken's still in really good shape and i'm just going to take it back home and stick it in a walmart bag or plastic bag and put it back in our bait freezer for next time i'm sure it'll be fine i don't have the option of leaving our crab pots out today guys Man, some beautiful crab in here. Tap, 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 trying to get them to let go. Look, that's a big rusty one there. So the crabs just, they are not up in the moss creeks right now. The crabs are out in the deeper water. And then uh, a couple of videos ago, I was very concerned about the crabs in our area. But it's looking a lot better. Look at this one with his deformed claw. And some of the comments, you know, I was telling people, you know, we may be wrong about any things we say in our videos. You know, we're just out here speculating, trying to figure things out as we go. And this right here is looking pretty good for us guys. Looking good for the crab population, right? Not bad. Two, four, six, eight maybe keepers in there. Let's count them out and see. We got our five inch trusty measuring gauge that's measuring five inches from side to side right here. And that's what we need in South Carolina. Five inch point to point blue crab. That there is a monster. He's a five and a half incher. I can see that one. There's a keeper. And that one on the bottom right there, he might be a little short. Let's see. Oh, he's he's gonna make it. So that's three already. Looking for the smallest crab first here now, yeah. and it's gonna be this guy right over here. This is a little small guy. Yeah. That crab right there is not worth the ticket, guys. So, guess what we're gonna do? See you, little buddy. They're beautiful when they're swimming away, too. Man, that's a rusty crab right there, guys. This crab hadn't molded in a long time. And that's why he's got that rusty color to him. And look at it, just covered. And that crab right there, if you ever buy them or you ever go crabbing, that crab is perfectly fine to eat there's nothing wrong with that crab the meat shouldn't be harmed at all that just means that this crab hadn't molded in a while and he's just dirty from the sediment and stuff that he's been living in in the water he's going to be one of the best ones probably because he will be filled all out since he right. hasn't molded in a while so there's four more keepers right there i can see them and there's four in there so we got eight keepers I'm in the first pot. Wow. Yummy, Let's yummy. Let's go to number two. Number two, coming up. It's feeling heavy. But I do have that big rebar on the bottom of this trap. Not as good over here. It's like two keepers, maybe? Maybe. Maybe two. Maybe this guy up here he definitely ain't a keeper he's a small one hmm. stuck this little point is stuck in there on his elbow you see they have little spikes on them everywhere that helps them hang up and makes them where they're not as tasty a meal for some animals maybe this five dollars and thirty something cent chicken is gonna be used again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be used again for another day of crabbing with you guys. We will reuse and recycle. 
these tongs always come in handy. Small, four oh. and seven eighths. And that one there is gonna be about the same, and that's a small one too. Those, all three of those were no goes. It's all about location. And luckily we did, that third pot we put out with you guys yesterday, it was in that same little channel back behind those oyster beds on the other end of it. Guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a white PVC pipe sticking up right here. If you're ever venturing out on the water in South Carolina, always look out for stuff like that. Some courteous person has come out here and placed that piece of PVC pipe where there's that oyster mound. So if you start seeing something like that when you're out on the water traveling through this area, steer clear of it. And be cautious because the obstruction could be to the left of that or the right. You never know. Loaded. Nice one. Look at there, that's a big Jimmy right there. Good oh, yeah, Lord, look at that one there, guys. That's a monster. Monster fire area. Guys, some I've you know talked with guys all over the place up in Maryland and different areas, New Jersey. They all love crabbing. So, you know, I like to ask them. You know, what are the biggest crabs that you guys see in y'all's area? And some of them actually say they see them eight, nine inches. Here in South Carolina for the last four years, I've been trying to keep up with it. And the biggest one that I've seen has been about seven and eight inches. And guys, see this right here? This male, big male, it looks like he's cradling a little female right now. So they could have been, you know, just coming through a breeding stage and once they breed, those little females become the soft shell crabs. They molt and the big males, they'll cradle them up under them. He's probably letting her go now, but his way of protecting her till she gets back hard is, you know, to cradle her for about 24 hours. Really nice ones in there. Huge one? I think they're pretty huge. I know that one's a really big one. Oh yeah. This one right here's a big old crab. Them's the ones. That's the number one male blue crab, guys. He would be about six inches. He's hard body and he would be considered a number one in our area definitely. That's eight. And look at this one here. He's even bigger. That one was that would make nine. This one will make ten. Put the gauge up beside him stuff because I still want to see what he's close to being like. Put it on one side of his point. That crab right there is over six inches. Big blue crab. Nine. No, that makes ten. Ten? Yeah, we had eight from the first That's one. That's right. Two from this one. I was cutting myself short. And that one's a keeper. Eleven. This one right here is a keeper. Twelve. That's a dozen. And that looks like all the rest might be short. A little short. Yep. A little shorty right here. The biggest one in there right now is this one right here. There's no need to even check those others. And look how feisty this little guy is. Yep, I'm too short. Too short. Here we go. That's what I'm going Before we're going to put back. And one of them is the little female. Yep. Go make some babies. Yeah, buddy. 
So I think we got three more out of there, right? So we should be up to 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We must have got four out of that one. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along with us on this video. Blue chicken seems to be doing the deal. Oh, that blue chicken is doing the deal. Blue crab fuel. Once I soak the chicken, look, our level is back up to here. It didn't take very much, and why waste it? I just took that funnel, like I told you guys, and poured what was left in the bucket right back into the bottom. And this big area you see right out here, guys, on low tide, it's just a big flat. This is actually a little stream that's coming off from it, or a little river that's coming off from it that we had set the pod in. The water looks mighty, mighty muddy here today. not have time to take you back and clean the crabs with you today or cook them with you today we'll get the videos like that hopefully in the future come up with some different crab recipes and stuff to share with you guys it's a big guy up here really big crab Our tie straps are holding up. You know the tie straps that I told you I used to fix the pot? That's how we fix ours. That's a big female, and I'm going to go ahead and let her go. See her big rounded apron. She's That's a mature right. female and her red on her claws. And these crabs, the females, are perfectly legal as long as they have size to keep here in South Carolina. When we're catching enough blue crabs to eat, we just choose not to keep them. She don't want to let go. Come on, let go. She's a stubborn female. You never met any of those, have you? I sure have not. No. But it's I like... sure have met a lot of pretty females. Oh, yeah. I see another pretty female in here, looks like. I'm gonna get some brown for that one, ain't I, <laughs> I don't know, some would say yes, some would say no. I say yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. This is a big keeper. You wanna measure it just for sure? No, I'm, I can tell yeah. it's a That one is, this one is. That's They're both really the big. Down, that's a big one there. That one there is over six inches too, guys. Look at the gauge. There's your gauge on it. That's five plus. He's on uh, six and eight, six and a quarter. One way. One way you can always tell the female crabs, even before you pick them up most of the time. Look, guys. See these red points on this one? See the blue on that one? Every now and then these males will fool you, but most of the time those females are gonna have those red pretty claws. You know, they got their fingernails painted, right? Yep. Look at that. Yep. Look at that pretty blue apron she's got. Beautiful. And she's she, a beautiful girl. She got her lipstick on for us today too. One of those pretty girls you've been talking about, right? That's right. Ooh, and that one's that barely is, a keeper. That, this is a keeper, but look here, guys. Look how many crabs we got. And look at the size of the claws and just the size of it. This would probably be in the number three category of crabs in our area. You know, he's not very big, so he would be great. He'd probably be a number three keeper. You know, females, small males. They're most of the time gonna be in the number three. So, guys, I hate to cut it with you guys, 
there's things that's more important than videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but Steph and I, we got to get out of here. Got to go. Thanks guys for watching. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. We love y'all. Thanks for supporting us on YouTube. Help us share positive videos out on the water so we can get the younger generation, you know, back out to doing things out on the water. Get them away from some of this stuff that's going on out here. And last of all, we ask you, don't forget, say a little prayer for us.